right. Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to another live stream of my Stardew Valley 100% series. I am kind of very excited. We are in the end game now. Uh, to partially quote uh, Avengers. As we have shown off last time, uh, we really only have 4% to really worry about and the remaining 10, because we ended off at 86% uh, completion. And uh, when we turn, when we build that golden clock, it will put us at 96 completion. And that will just leave 4% left on account for the 1% is definitely going to be the uh, uh, The fourth obelisk that I was actually wrong apparently that's actually something I'm gonna verify real quick, uh, but We may actually have what we need We may actually have what we need to uh, uh, build the obelisk right now but our primary focus is actually going to be uh, our primary focus is actually going to be uh, God, I can't think. Uh, uh, getting up to ten million gold and actually holding ten million gold, so that we can be able to build the golden clock. We're going to be, of course, working on a bunch of stuff on the side, but that's our primary focus right now. Uh, for anyone curious, uh, pretty much the remainder of the winter is going to be spent uh, completely clearing out the rest of the farm of all trees and rocks and all this other random crap. And once we have that done, then uh, we're going to be building another shed and we're going to be filling it to the brim with kegs. So, uh, really, pr pretty much my, our primary money-making thing is going to be spent uh, uh, processing nature fruit. I will say something I have been noticing with my commentary, and I don't know if it's because of my mic, I have been, I've honestly been kind of like annoyed with how my mic sounds when it's being processed through like a phone or a microphone because it just, I feel like it's not at all what my actual voice sounds like. But I have been kind of a little bit annoyed if I'm going to be honest here because of the fact that my uh, voice consistently sounds bored. I've been noticing this with the last couple, past couple streams, but I just want to clarify that the way that I'm speaking right now is pretty much my standard emotion. And I know there's some like YouTubers that are able to be like incredibly like excitable. They like to be energetic in their speech. That's not how I actually am. And I feel like if I were to try and fake like being happy or excited or whatever, then I'll be kind of disingenuous of how I actually feel. I don't know why I thought I would do anything. So for anyone curious at all, uh, Whenever you're listening to me and I just sound like bored or anything, for the most part, it's just like typically how I uh, sound.
Something I will say is every single leak or post made by the developer concerning Ape on Twitter announcing something that he is going to be uh, releasing for 1.6 makes me increasingly concerned that the update for 1.6 is literally right around the corner. And I did want to actually bring this up because uh, this is actually something that I uh, was actually talking about before where uh, if Actually, I may have just brought this up on uh, you on YouTube only, but when 1.6 releases, I think I also brought it up in stream. I think about it. When 1.6 releases, regardless on if I am am able to get 100% completion or, or perfection, or if uh, I am not, I'm actually gonna take a little break from this game. So this uh, series, Stardew Valley, will go on hiatus until I complete the very next game on the channel. I'm hoping that by then there'll be some decent, like, uh, reliable information on the wiki. Like, the wiki will be fully updated with the new characters, new items and stuff. And I will be re-getting, like, all the stuff that, uh, will, that will be released in the 1.6 update. But, when 1.6 releases, I am going to be going on hiatus. And honestly, most of what, what 1.6 will do is to add, uh, to give much support for mods on PC. But that does not apply to console. To my knowledge, you cannot have mods installed when you are playing console Stardew Valley. You only have mods installed if you are playing PC. Okay, go ahead and sell. And let's go ahead and run to different uh, people and just get the gifts out. Uh, we need a topaz and a diamond. Uh, let's also do one specific thing. So what I need is a heavy tapper, which I thought was in one of these chests. We'll worry about that later, Ashley. It's funny how stream elements is working now. Uh, yesterday it was not actually working properly. So I don't know what the deal is with that. And while we're up here, we also get a reward for uh, for doing the monster slayer goals. Corpus now at three hearts. I believe it was at two before. Such a cool hat.
And let's go ahead and find San uh what's the name? Uh Alex is what his name is. Should be up here. Okay, we're going to Krovis. And when we're done with Krovis, I actually, actually, before we go to Krovis. Fifteen thousand. Oh, that's not that bad. Just need to clear the farm first. Because I know exactly where I want to put it. I wanted to put it below the uh, uh, fishing ponds. But we have a bunch of trees in the way. So I'm just going to work on clearing the entire farm of the remainder of the trees so we don't have to worry about anything. And uh, then we are going to uh, construct the building. Krobus is, I think, I can't tell if he actually went up a hard, he may have stayed the same. I can't remember exactly where he was at. I just want to make sure, uh, because I may have been grabbing magma caps when I didn't need to. I just want to make sure that we, uh, are currently, we do need a bananas, uh, for building the last obelisk. God damn it. Okay, so that was my mistake. I didn't need, I thought I needed magma caps. I probably should have checked before I went out to hunt for them, but I guess it's not a big deal that we got magma caps instead of bananas. We already have bananas actually, so I knew at one point just because I misremembered and thought I needed magma caps. Uh what did I need magma caps for? Why was I collecting them in chests? Because I only collected them because I saw I had them in my chest and I assumed they were needed for a uh, thing. Let's just move the uh, thing around. Probably gonna go to sleep at maybe, probably gonna be heading in like at maybe uh, 10 or so.
it's a good thing that we're doing this now because it's we're slowly chipping away at it uh, as we've been playing, but I'm really just only clearing it out when we are planning on expanding. But I've always like intended on fully clearing out the farm. And let's head back. Got about half the, f not really half the farm actually. Got a decent chunk of it though. I imagine that once we get that shed build filled completely with caves, we'll be making a lot more money. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let's go sleep. And I'm seeing that uh, I'm making a lot of money tonight. I'm actually really excited because we've been working on this thing for almost, I think it's actually either over a year now or close to a year now. It'd be nice to finally get this done. Getting to our animals, and then we will give the gifts out to the people. Actually, I need to check something. I was looking for the heavy tapper. I should probably, like, take care of that now. I know I have a heavy tapper. Which chest is it in? Here it is. Okay, yeah, should be making a lot more oak resin now. This is really what I've been wanting. What really did the thing that's most useful to me. into our cows and we should be ready 
to give the gift title to the people. I should probably look into something because uh, our secret Santa, I guess you could say, is uh, Harvey. I do want to make sure that what he likes is coffee and not triple shot espresso. Yeah, he loves coffee. Okay. Just go ahead and get some gifts out. Just curious, I'm drinking lemonade. I was dying of thirst earlier. I was gonna have uh, like a giant like tea glass of uh, water, but we're out of tea glasses and we only have like regular size glasses. So I decided to just go for lemonade. Not water, but if water has water in it. Technically, I guess we do have a tea glass, but it's, uh, my dad has a lot of 49er memorabilia. He's a huge, like, 49er fan, and he has, like, a porcelain or glass or whatever glass filled with, uh, 49er, uh, 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 uh porcelain or glass, gla uh, glass, whatever you want to call it, that, uh, has, uh, the 49er emblem on it and uh and uh he generally like kind of gets mad i guess like he, at least he did in the past whenever i uh used one of his last uh 49er glasses so i didn't want to like get him upset and most of the stuff he has is like collector's items and stuff, but he actually used to have like a full on display case dedicated to the 49ers. Like, uh, he used to have a uh, Super Bowl, Super uh, football that was uh, actually used in one of the Super Bowls that the uh, 49ers won, like back in like the Steve Ri Jerry Rice and uh, or Steve Rice, whatever what one he is in Joe Montana days. Uh, he also had like uh, Wheaties, like cereals, Wheaties uh, boxes with the 49er face on it. It was one of those uh, things that had like the hologram thing. But, uh, personally, I'm not really that interested in sports. I'm kind of more, if anything, of an eSports fan. I used to, I recently got into the Overwatch League, and it was just kind of unfortunate that the time that I got into it was pretty much the second to the last season, uh, of the Overwatch League. But I, uh, always...
really just about thought that competitive gaming was just fascinating to me, especially for games that I use that I'm a fan of. I've seen some pretty incredible things. Like there's so many like instances of like pros I'm making plays that I would just simply never have been able to do if I were to try like a million times. It's just fascinating to me to watch uh professional gamers just play just incredibly. It's just kind of a shame what happened to the Overwatch League because they, uh, I don't know the full story, but, but they, uh, were having issues, like, getting crowds or getting people's interested in it. And, uh, they ended up, I believe that this last season ended up being the last season because they kind of lost a bunch of teams, like, a bunch of teams have confirmed that they're not going to be playing again. And they actually tried to assign a deal with uh, different, like, uh, teams. But it was a pretty expensive or just kind of an odd deal. But it's still kind of, I'm still, like, in the process of catching up. I've not seen, like, the, uh, the Grand Finals for 2023, but I have, uh, I do know the outcome of it. But, uh, yeah. In relation to gaming in my channel, actually, I've, have, I've actually been giving uh, a lot of thought to something that's going to be kind of an interesting uh, thing. Like, something that is kind of a ritual for my channel. And that is uh, the topic of my New Year's Eve livestream special. Now, for anyone that is unaware of how things worked out of this uh, series worked excuse me in the past on new year's eve i would stream from 8 a.m to 8 8 a.m new year's eve to 8 a.m new year's day the full 24 hour live stream however i was only able to successfully do this once and that was for assassin's creed mirage and uh assassin's creed mirage assassin's creed origins is what i meant when I first uh, streamed this game, I was playing Borderlands 1, and unfortunately, my computer, I was streaming it from my laptop, because I didn't have a desktop uh, set up for streaming then. I, I don't even know if I had my desktop at that time, if I'm going to be honest here. But, uh, I uh, was streaming from my laptop, and it was essentially dying. Like, it, my stream went down, like, five times past the 12 hour mark. It could not handle streaming at long periods of time. And I think it was soon after that I invested in getting a gaming PC to stream from. And that's the one I'm using right now. But the next time I streamed was in 2022, wait, 2021. And I streamed a full 24 hours of Assassin's Creed Mirage, which was like a pretty interesting experience, although admittedly I got very bored midway through. But, uh... The last time that I attempted this, I was playing Assassin's... Uh, I was playing Borderlands 2, and I got so bored that it was actually affecting my commentary. And I couldn't actually stream that way, and this kind of makes me like... Uh, one for two, one for two. I was only able to successfully stream uh, for 24 hours one time and I failed two times. So I'm actually going to do something a bit different this year where instead of streaming from 8 a.m. New Year's Day to 8 a.m. New, Year New Year's Eve to 8 a.m. New Year's Day, I'm actually going to be streaming from 7 p.m. New Year's Eve to 8 a.m. Uh, New Year's Day and hopefully just streaming for a shorter period of time will be more bearable for me and uh, That will just kind of give me like 13 hours for me to stream which I think is definitely a lot more feasible than playing uh, than streaming for uh, My brain is dead 
Then streaming for, uh... God, what am I thinking of? Uh... 24 hours. But, uh, the game that I've actually been considering playing is doing a not-so-blind not so blind playthrough. But really my first playthrough of God of War 2018. And I'll be playing this on the PS5. I'll have to buy the game and, uh... Uh, install it But I do want to talk about like what to kind of expect uh, for this type of game I am I have not played a God of War game since God of War 1 for PS3 and I was really struggling with that game uh, because the controller I was using for my PS3 was The buttons were non-responsive where whenever I mash circle to do the quick time events or mash any button for the quick time events half the time it didn't register so most of the time whenever i had a qu quick time event for a finisher i literally couldn't kill an enemy and it's kind of led to a lot of deaths so uh i guarantee you that it'll probably be different with god of war since i'm playing on the ps5 and not a ps3 but there's probably going to be a lot of rust. There's probably going to be a lot of moments of me, quite frankly, being bad. I just want to like clarify that so anyone watching can know what to expect. I don't know. I will not know what I'm doing with this uh, game when I do play it. This will be my first ever playthrough. If you would really consider it like of any God of War game, because I didn't even get far into God of War 1. I literally just got past like, the first ship kill the uh uh kill the uh kraken or whatever that thing is kill the kraken or whatever that thing is and uh uh literally just barely even got into athens but uh yeah it's uh will be pretty much out of my first real experience with God of War, and uh, it's very possible that when I do complete God of War, when I do play it, it will be a series I could go back to if I did enjoy my time playing that. So uh, that's kind of what you can expect from that game. Be kind of my first uh, experience with God of War franchise. It will be my uh. It'll be my first experience with the God of War franchise. It will be an interesting experience, but yeah, I just don't expect like expert gameplay. Kind of expect a lot of rust. That's all I'm about to say. Honey. Huh. I honestly thought that I needed like some type of syrup or something for uh warp totem for the farm, but it was honey. Why well, I was surprised. Cause I was actually thinking it was like pine resin or something.
I'm just gonna throw out a salad that's jade for my inventory. Okay. Let's get the clearing. But first, let's go and sell this. Really just gonna clear out the set of trees to the south of the thing, then I'll circle back around with the trees to the uh, north. Uh, south of this pond, I mean. I think that's a tree. That's a waste. It's so nice once you clear this area out. It's so nice when we have this area all cleared out. It's just, I always just been kind of, I always just kind of like the idea of like a clean farm. Although I will need to clear out all the saplings that are growing.
What I'm really kind of excited about, if I'm going to be honest here, I've never actually seen the event of perfection. I know where it will take me, but I kind of spared my, because I kind of looked up like a specific area where it takes place. Uh, and I'm trying to be big about it, but there was like an area in this game that I've noticed for a while that I never knew how to unlock it because I've done every single quest at this point. Uh, and I looked into it, and it actually is tied to perfection, so. I never actually looked into the event, I never watched the cutscenes, so I'm really kind of excited to uh, be able to share that uh, look, uh, to show that off of my reaction to that for the first time. It's just, I've, all, I've been really looking forward to seeing the cutscene for perfection, to be able to achieve that, considering that none of my friends have been able to do that up until this point. I think it'll just be kind of more so like the bragging rights that I, I'm really looking forward to. More than anything, like I, there's so many games that I played that my so many of my friends have never actually percent. One of them is actually Borderlands 3 and what's uh, kind of interesting about that game is one of my friends is like a hardcore Borderlands fan. Never actually gotten every single achievement in Borderlands 3. Never, there's even some DLC that I found that he never even touched. So that's like a crown in my thing that may never actually go away if I'm going to be honest here. Because as far as I'm aware, he's not planning on going back to Borderlands 3. But uh, there's so many games that my friends and I have played that I'm just... That I was able to do a lot more than they could. And to use another example, uh, Outriders. I have a couple friends that played Outriders, I have a couple friends that beaten Outriders, but uh, no one I know has actually been able to get every single achievement and 100% uh, the game. Technically the game isn't quite 100%, but it's really like the DLC that I need to work on. Uh, the DLC has two launch videos that I need to make, and one of them requires me to go through probably a grotter, like the raid dungeon, to a couple times to get the uh, remaining database logs that I'm missing. But, uh, yeah, that's really, like, the, gonna be, like, the only thing that I need to worry about. And then after that, I have a bonus video planned where I'm gonna be reading every single uh, database entry in the game. Which is probably gonna be over an hour long. But those are like the only two most videos that I've yet for this channel and then unfortunately I haven't been able to find time to actually work on that mainly because of the fact that uh, I've been so focused on school I just haven't had any spare time. And it's also because I don't particularly like doing runs with Target Grotter. In my opinion, like, this, I really enjoyed the story of, uh, of, uh, uh, Outriders. Like, I was really fascinated with it. But the weakest point, uh, with the game, in my opinion, is actually kind of what comes after the story, like the post game. Yeah, for the longest time before, uh, before, uh, 
That's nice. For the longest time before, uh, God, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, before the final DLC came out, all you could do to actually beat the campaign and done every side quest and everything else is do expeditions and I wouldn't have as much problem with expeditions if it's scaled down the difficulty to accommodate solo play but it's heavily insistent on multiplayer and quite possibly one of the worst uh the most frustrating experiences for me is trying to create footage for uh it's trying to create footage for, uh, for, uh, the, uh, the expeditions and just struggling with teammates who aren't particularly good or, uh, are just kind of, in my opinion, a little bit toxic. Like, so many people just... I've actually got messaged a couple times because someone didn't like uh, what I was doing in this game and he actually asked me to leave. And uh, this was actually a thing of me trying to, uh, I think I actually made a, I can remember this happened in the stream where this happened when I was trying to farm uh, expeditions uh, for like a specific one. Uh, and it was just really very frustrating because some people are just freaking assholes, but it's just, uh, the post scheme for Outriders kind of sucks. And there's really, they should have really found a way to skill, uh, the difficulty down, uh, if you are playing, uh, solo. Because if they were to do that, if you're able to solo dungeons without having, like, an overpowered build, then it will make it a little bit more enjoyable for me. But the only way you can solo dungeons... The only way you can so solo uh, expeditions is by having an OP one-shot build. Which is not something I particularly like. I mean, if you can solo ex uh, dungeons and uh, if you get solo dungeons uh, like raids and sticking on Borderlands three just by uh, using like your own guild and gear, like in my opinion, like the end game for Borderlands three of all things is a lot better than the end game of Outriders. It's because it's just it's it functions better. You're not forced to like. Go into like a session, a multiplayer session. To uh, you're not forced to go into a multiplayer session. Have to get uh, uh, in order to complete like a raid. You can do raid solo. It's just hard to do, but it is possible. That's really my problem with uh, Outriders. Like the fact that I couldn't do the final DLC. Because, uh, they're organized, they scaled the difficulty for the final DLC against people that are supposed to have in game build. And that really fucking pissed me off because as soon as I realized I couldn't do that, I had to cut this room short and find someone to help me get through it. Which I felt like shouldn't actually be a thing, but it was. So it's, it's just like really stupid. I really freaking hate the end game of Outriders, and it's honestly, it's probably like the worst uh, end game I've ever played. But so many people I encounter, they actually don't understand that. They actually kind of consider Outriders to be a really good game. It's just I personally don't. Which is fine, but it's just frustrating.
Oh my gosh, my wife, that's funny. Pumpkin pie. Nice. He's gonna grab this and we'll sell it. Then we'll go to sleep. I will say we're probably gonna end this stream off like 10 minutes early, so instead of 4.50, we're gonna be ending it off at 4.40. And the reason for that is I actually need to go to my local pharmacy before it closes. So, uh, yeah, uh, for anyone curious, uh, my pharmacy closes at 6, and I want to make sure that I get there before I forget really because I always end up uh, after I live stream my focus is to download the stream and uh, edit it but I don't know first of all like for all I know like there could be a line when I do get the, the setup and it's in second of all I just don't want to forget so because I am very forgetful. Okay. That's just something that I do want to do, which is to, uh, uh, it's, uh, to build another one of those obelisk things, those, th those things to, that's to the right of my house, uh, and I want to place it near the entrance to the mount, uh, the lake, the forest lake.
40 solar and a set of 3 gold bars. He may have the materials for that. Two hundred and twenty. Need a little bit more just to make it a nice even number. Almost done. Dude, I am so happy to probably be almost done with this. It's just it's something I've been working on throughout this entire free game play. they just slowly chipping away at all this shit. If I can, uh, what, what we're going to be focusing on, like, after, uh, we get this, uh, thing done, well, first of all, when we are finished, we're going to be trying to focus our attention on, number one, building a second shed, and number two, uh, building the last obelisk. We do have the money for that, we just need to get the materials. So hopefully by then spring will be underway and uh, we'll be able to make some more progress. We're also going to be expanding our farm. Going to be building a couple more rows for uh, sprinklers just so that we can make a little bit more money. wonder how much sprinklers I can afford. They're gonna be crafting quality sprinklers, not radium, so I think I'll just need like gold, uh, uh, iron bars and steel bars. I should have eaten something before I started streaming. Something that always just kind of pissed me off, just kind of going off on a little tangent. Uh, my dad uh, keeps on like buying like ice cream specifically for me, and the only time I can eat it is after dinner because I don't usually people don't drink ice cream during the day. But every single time he sees me eating it, he always makes a comment about my weight. It's just, it really freaking pissed me off. He's more concerned about the fact that I'm eating it late at night. And, uh, I guess he's also concerned that I may have, di I may get diabetes, I guess. But it's just, 
spawn. I uh, personally, diabetes is definitely something I need to worry about considering that both sides of my family did have diabetes. But I don't like eat sweets like night uh throughout the day. I usually just have like a couple like every now and then. So it's not I don't think I'm like in any risk, but my dad just makes it seem like I am. There are people that I know that eat sweets all throughout the day, but that's not at all what I do. Dad just needs to seem like that is gonna happen to me. Oh my god, we're almost done. Look at how much we have left. I'm so freaking happy. We are reaching the end. Oh, come on, just give me that. I'm actually gonna eat a pizza. Just so I can finish this up. Oh my god. Get it done. So freaking close. I'm just gonna like get this done, uh, do work on this until I uh, finish. Because I literally only have four rows left. I didn't even know that there could be like mushrooms that grow in this area, so I just learned something new every day.
Come on. Look at all this wood that we need to pick up. Okay, area cleared. I'm gonna put this coffee back on this row. I don't know why it's on that row. And let's uh, sell and go to sleep. Got a lot done. Nice. I actually kind of want to see what Penny said there. I kind of skipped it, but I just saw the word horrific and I was just skipping through just to get the kiss in so that our happiness goes up. I really want to know what she was saying. I imagine she may be talking about her uh, home life with Pam. But I don't know. Okay, let's uh, gonna process this and we will head north uh, to get it, whatever it's called, uh, to build a shed.
Now let's actually go back to our farm because I want to expand like the amount of crops that we can grow. Because again, like our focus for uh, this coming year is going to be primarily on making money. If we can get like a steady amount of money uh, yearly, then we're in good place. Iron bar, gold bar, refined quartz. How much copper ore do I have? Four hundred ninety-four. I know what we're gonna do. be making like a huge wall of uh, furnaces this is gonna be a production line is uh three furnaces no longer cutting in for what we need If we need iron ore, we can just go to the mines. There's a lot of iron ore in floors at 60 to 80. We also, uh, because we spent a lot of uh, copper, we also need a uh... move dog, move dog. Because we spent a lot of copper, we also need to get hold of a bunch of uh, copper ore. I guess what we can do, I'm assuming these are about ready to be done. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we are definitely refilling our supply. That's actually a good idea to get a hold of quartz, at least if we are running low. We should have enough to get what we need. Okay, so how much gold bars do we have? Eight. <laughs> Why are you always in the way? That should get us a decent amount of uh, gold bars. I think we're good. Once we, we have that smelted, we're good for uh, what we need. I think what we need to focus on right now is getting my other crafting project. And for that, we need... Solar essence. And three gold bars. Because we are going to be making a fast travel system on the farm. May not seem that helpful, but remember, many obelisks are only useful on the farm. Fast travel system set up. Okay, so When this gold ore is processed, we'll be able to make a bunch, hopefully, of, uh, actually in this chest, we want to make a bunch of, uh, uh, sprinklers, quality sprinklers. And what we are going to do is we are going to be expanding this line all the way to here. Actually, we are going to be lowering this down by one.
reason why we are uh, bringing this down by one is just to make it a little bit more symmetrical. I thought it was facing to the right. I don't want to place it there. I want to place it one space to the right. That's too wide. There we go. Oh my god. <clears throat> Let's go to sleep and when we wake up that all that should be ready. Uh, nothing ready. So we should be able to craft a bunch of quality sprinklers now. And this will make us a lot more money. <laughs> uh, we are going to be going full ham. Why? I'm not even facing that panel. I'll make things a little bit easier. Probably should enable this a lot sooner than I did. We're going to use it lower this down by one. This is not, I'm not satisfied with this placement.
For anyone curious why I'm not using uh, iridium sprinklers, it's uh, a little bit too expensive for me. Shit. A little bit too expensive for me, so I'm not, uh, that's why I'm not using it. And honestly, uh, quality sprinklers work fine. Not too much of an inconvenience. There's three, looks off. We're gonna lower this down by one again, uh, just to make it a little bit more even. I'm, I'm, my OCD is really shining with this. I was just trying to think of when the last time we, uh, I was trying to think of when the last time we, uh, uh, did this type of thing, uh, expand the farm. That's good for now, we're out of resources. I think we have uh, another couple scarecrows in our chest somewhere. In this chest, I'm thinking of. Okay. Gonna craft it some more. Really wish I could, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're all set.
So now I think what we are going to do is to try and get Actually, you know what we should do is get the gifts out to uh, various people. Get out of my way, dog. Why do you always stand there? Huh. I'm actually kind of curious to see how long it will take me for me to get these guys some max penny. He's at, his birthday is in the summer, that's a good thing to keep in mind. See, Alex still has three hearts. I was gonna get to Krovitz, so it won't be done. Tomorrow, we will be making use of our expand farm and making a lot of money. It may be even able to crack a couple of grass, please. So just a reminder, the recipes that we still need to craft, we have one recipe that we still need to unlock. We need to craft uh, wild seeds for spring, wild seeds for summer, and uh, I think we got the wild seeds for fall. Yes, we did. So those are two recipes we need to craft. We also need to craft a tub of flowers. And we need to craft a oil of garlic, so that's four recipes. The other thing is a dark sun, which is five bat wings and five bone fragments. I believe that may be it. The, uh, uh, the sixth one is also like the one for the other ingredients. I believe it's a solar panel. Ninety percent sure we already crafted this.
I think we are good there. Yeah, let's go sleep. For usual, guys are cleaning up our farm at the end of the year. Although, when we build the golden clock, you won't have to worry about that. I didn't notice there was a uh, rare crow on the barn. I just freaking finished clearing out my farm as well. Why is there so much crap? My god, I know I just cleared the farm, but still. It's gonna be like an all day thing? I hope not. Come on. That's one thing I cannot wait for at this point. I didn't realize it was gonna be this freaking bad. But holy shit, I cannot wait until I build a golden clock. Because we should be at Pierre's, or we should actually be planting our seeds right now.
Dude, how long is this gonna take me? My god. I completely forgot that when you clear your farm, when you, uh, when you transition from winter to different, uh, se well, when you transition to different seasons in general, a lot of fucking shit spawns. A lot of fucking shit that, mind you, I do not want. Cause I literally just got this thing looking clean and now I have to clear out all this shit again. Dude, how is there so much crap? I don't understand why there's so much crap. He wasted the entire day cleaning up my fucking farm. Okay, finally done. So how many plots do we need? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hold that thought. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, thirteen spaces. We need to hurry up and get to Peter's before he closes. At 20 minutes. This was a really fucking productive day. Okay. So we at the very least need 13 garlic. Oh. That's fine, I can just get rid of the other one. Tulip, jazz. Oh wait, no, it's not 13, it's 12. So 12 times 18. Calculator. Twelve times eighteen is two hundred and sixteen bean stars. Okay, 
So, we need to put the uh, seeds in the chest because I don't want to sell, plant them or sell them. We need them for crafting, but we don't have all the ingredients yet. Okay. We're actually going to uh, uh, we're gonna be playing a little bit late tonight. Uh but this particular night I mean. I really wish I could slow down time for this game. I think I have a broken but yet good ability to have. It doesn't really matter if we uh, kind of off, uh, mess up our harvesting by one day. It's really not a big deal. I just want to get these crops planted. That's all. Fortunately, we are running out of daylight. Okay, so uh, we will be heading to bed early as soon as we finish planting this row because we are out of daylight. This fucking farm, clearing out the farm, took the entire freaking day. So freaking stupid.
and it's raining. If we weren't dealing with that farm, we definitely would have been able to get this uh, these crops all done today. But now we are behind schedule. We could the, yesterday could have been like a huge money making day. Also, I hate uh, plants that have sprouts. It's just honestly, uh, planting uh, beans is definitely the most profitable plant to grow. In uh, spring. Okay. So freaking monotonous. I really freaking hate uh, planting these stupid uh, tower things. The thing is, like, it blocks you. It'd be so nice if we could just walk through them. God damn it. Stop freaking misclicking. Okay, we are hopefully nearing the end of this. Probably not, but meaning hopeful. This is just so frustrating. The thing is, like, if it was just normal seeds, we would already be done. Because we have to just individually place every single one instead of just spamming it because we can't walk through freaking posts. Honestly, one of the things that I really wish was different. Like, you're telling me you can't just walk past those posts? Just acts as a fence?
We may not even be able to harvest a freaking. We may not even be able to harvest the uh, ancient fruit today. We are so far behind schedule. We should already be done with this. God, these freaking beans suck. Hey. Beginning, I think I did my math wrong. Dude, what the? That's not what I told you to hit. How did you simultaneously? Mine that uh sprinkler and freaking uh mine that plot of dirt at the same time. Okay, we are hopefully going to be done very soon. Okay, so we should have four more plots left. Okay. Oh my god, I can't plant it because it's freaking seed. Okay, just a little bit more. We finally are almost done here. The second time that happened? Why does that keep on happening? Not an old one telling you to mine. There you go. Two more. Oh my God. That one was my fault.
Okay. Finally almost done here. Okay, so let's go ahead. God damn it. I have a problem. Go ahead and tend to our Excuse me? <laughs> so freaking mad at that clearing out that stupid farm took an entire freaking day and now the harvest is gonna be Tuesday and not Monday. That's just one problem, but it's freaking big for me. Now I need to get used to payday being uh, Tuesday and not freaking Monday. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. Okay. Go ahead and uh, put this in the thing, uh, in the shed. We should be good to go. Okay, so we are actually gonna drink a coffee because there's one more thing that I want to try and get done today. Coffee before bedtime, really good idea, but it doesn't really matter. What I'm doing is taking a quick check. It's a good thing I did. We need to hurry up and sell this before we pass out.
Okay, hard part is over. Sorry I neglected you animals, but uh, I kind of have my own shit I deal with. Okay. So what I'm probably going to focus on now is uh uh getting that the obelisk built Once we get the obelisk build, then there'll be another thing tacked on for um, some completion, and we can focus on other things. So we need uh, four more dragon tooth. Okay, so let's go to the beach. And let's go to uh, Ginger Island. Oh, before we do, I actually forgot about something. Because it is a new month, which means we may have a new thing. I'm hoping it's something that we can actually do. No, nothing really. We're still looking for island ingredients. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to work on that for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Ginger Island. I imagine there may be some crops we need to grow. We shouldn't actually may have made any progress for uh, completion.
I honestly forgot about uh, this farm. I hope I didn't lose any crops. Looks like I may have. Let's go ahead and sell this. And let's go to the volcano dungeon. So if we are lucky, we'll be able to get the four dragon truths we need from this trip. So I didn't get it from there. You can get a uh, uh, dragon tooth from either of those uh, lava lurches or uh, either of those lava lurches or uh, uh, from out in the mines. And specifically, you need to keep an eye out for the actual like bone struts. There was a really bad movie I watched when I was a kid called Joe vs. the Volcano. I remember thinking it was pretty funny when I was a kid, but like upon reflection, it was a really, really bad movie. But I'm just kind of reminded of that uh, that movie, Ramley. It was just as I was walking through here, it just was what reminded me of it. What was bad about it was if you just take the time to like pull the movie apart or pick the movie apart, there's a lot of elements that doesn't make any sense. And there's this one scene in particular where uh, when they were being sacrificed to the volcano, I believe, they jumped in. And they were saved and shot out of the volcano when the volcano bubbled and uh, just kind of caused like a force of air that pushed them out. I remember seeing that and I thought it was like the dumbest thing ever and doesn't make any sense. And I feel like that's true for a lot of really bad movies. On the flip side, there's a movie that I used to watch that was also a really bad movie. That was like a stereotypical donor movie called uh, Dude Where's My Car. I used to think that was such a funny movie when I was a, a kid, but I didn't really get like many of the innuendos and references they made. Until I was much older.
Okay, so we should just need two more. What do you have for sale? Nothing interesting. Come on. I need to eat another pizza. I'm just going to use a warp tunnel and get out of here. Okay, so all I need is two more dragon suits and I'll be able to build the final obelisk. Go ahead and sell this and go to sleep. And, uh, I think we're, we're lucky. Gonna be uh be able to build obelisk tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe the day after, but
Okay, so let's go ahead and tend to our animals. And, uh... Then we will head to the, th uh, during our and try and get this thing done. Really, you just want to get this obelisk done. We've literally been waiting for a while to be able to get this uh, thing built. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put these truffles in the processor. And grab a warp totem, we'll sell what we have. The last warp totem actually, so we need to get these two things done here. God damn it. We need to get these two things done here because otherwise we uh, will need to leave like at nine or something. Do what we need. Okay, so let's just use the thing to go to the volcano. Nothing. We uh, need to get to uh, Dragon Tooth for this trip. Ain't nothing here.
Let's eat. I am uh, really gonna help you get what we need here. But I need to come back on a repeat trip. We're lucky, the only time we need to come back to the dungeon if, is if we need to enchant. In all likelihood, I'm probably not going to enchant my gear. Yeah, let's progress on. Come on. Dude, I freaking hate these center uh, spirits. Right. I just need like one thing, a uh, bone temple thing if I'm lucky. Okay, these are bones. Dang it, it's not here. You need to come here another trip, it looks like. Unless we can get really lucky. There's still technically a chance for us to get this, but we need to get it from the lava lurch. like we got on this floor.
Come on. I love how there's bones here, but there's no thing. I guess not everyone will give you bones. in here let's just go there was a bust you at least got one fortunately we are out of uh warp totems Oh, we actually got enough to craft two more pillars, which is nice. I'm going to put the honey in this chest. I'll need it for tomorrow. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Actually, you know what? I actually, I actually think I'm just gonna end the stream a little bit early, earlier than the NSC plan. I mean, uh, this is probably gonna be my last day. I'm just uh. I've just been kind of feeling a little bit off today, like my, I just haven't been like particularly enjoying my experience, so. But we can at the very least get some progress done. Uh, for anyone curious, uh... When we next stream, we will likely be crafting that obelisk. And, uh, making some serious progress. But at the very least, today, I want to, uh, I want to actually, uh, want to actually get that last thing that we need and uh, build that obelisk. I just, uh, I haven't been like feeling 100% myself today. And it's just particularly because I just haven't been enjoying myself in this game. I've been feeling that's what was reflecting in my commentary a little bit. It's just, uh... There's a lot of problems. I'm mainly just kind of a little bit upset, if I'm gonna be honest here. 
And, uh, I just feel like that my attitude will improve if I just take a little break. Just come back, hopefully a little bit better, uh, tomorrow. Uh, to tomorrow, next week. It's just, uh... There is kind of a lot of stuff that's kind of going on in my life, and i uh, been kind of dealing with a lot of stress lately. And tomorrow may very well be another stressful day. And it's just, there's just a lot of shit that's going on that's just been kind of making me a little bit upset. And uh, to give you a little bit of an idea, I actually got screwed by Amazon because a book that I actually need by tomorrow, uh, which I should have actually already had. Uh, freaking Amazon sent me a bag of freaking jawbreakers instead. So I don't know if like, someone somehow just got the wrong... Uh, someone just got the wrong freaking... Uh, package and someone else wanted a bag of jawbreakers <clears throat> actually uh, got my book instead but uh, that kind of soured my mood a little bit and I just found out that the book that I was just reordered and it was supposed to come tomorrow won't actually be here until Friday so I'm a little bit upset because next week, uh, I was going to dedicate my time to revise my critical introduction, the, I'm supposed to, the deadline to turn all this stuff in is in a couple weeks, and I am not ready. I'm very not ready. So, it's a lot of shit is going on, and like it could have happened at the worst time. So I think that's part of the reason why I've been kind of like... Uh, lacking enjoyment of this game it's just kind of like up to my knowledge of what's kind of going on this week and also tomorrow is also the second round of workshops for my class and the first workshop was freaking disastrous with a lot of people taking offense to what I've writ written even though it was really talking about a mistake I made and how I bettered myself because of it but my classmates couldn't see past his mistake, and I'm possibly doing another controversial thing with using a taboo word that was used against me. And if the, my classmates just react the same way, I just don't even know what to even say. I've just been like, as time passes, I'm just getting more and more stressed out, and I just didn't really show this yesterday or Friday because I wasn't really thinking about it. But lately, it's just all I've been thinking about. And the thing is, like, it could have been a lot better than it was. Like, if my freaking package was actually arrived on time I'll be in a much better mood today but because it hasn't and when I reordered it it was delayed definitely has kind of soured my mood a little bit it's just the par part is I am a uh, a graduate student working on getting my master's degree. I'm not like I'm not a uh, regular like bachelor's or associate students. I'm a graduate uh, thing and we do have deadlines we need to work with. It's not like I had to turn all this stuff in at the end of the semester. And shit has not been going my way.
Okay. Still nothing. would love to get like a there we go you maybe I should be able to build it yet Ten iridium bars. <laughs> da, 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 da. I keep on forgetting about that mini obelisk I built. Maybe one day I'll remember to use it. And Island Abbas. Build. Ha <laughs> ha, motherfucker. Dude, I am so happy. And now we can use that same obelisk to go back to Ginger Island and check our stats. Dude, this is just so great. Even though we aren't shooting the full four hours, I essentially accomplished what I wanted to do today. So. Bada bing, bada boom, 87%. Nice. So really... If I'm correct... Once we get the remainder of the golden walnuts, that will go up by 1%. That'll be 88%. When we craft every single recipe, that will go up to 1%, uh, 1 so 89%. And if my theory is correct, getting 100% of every friends will put, put us at 90%, which means the only thing that we have to worry about is building the golden clock. The end is definitely in sight, but it's probably going to be a while before we make any significant progress. From this point on, all of the uh, money we're, uh, we're going to be uh, earning is going to be putting towards the uh, building the golden clock.
let's uh go back uh, home and uh, we'll sleep off the day and then we'll end the live stream. I saw the fall in my eye. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, for this stuff. And I will go to sleep. If you are remotely interested in what to see today, all the games I cover on my channel will be for 1% completion. I'm going to be streaming Stardew Valley yet again next Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, 5 Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully, I will be able to stream to 5. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be uh, streaming Sim Street Pets for 1% completion on Fridays, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time. And I'm going to be streaming uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for 100% completion on Saturdays, 1 p.m. on Saturday, 1 p.m. to 5 Pacific Standard Time. A little update on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order before we wrap things up. Uh, we may only have two or three live streams left in that game. We don't really have that many story beats left. We really only have two or three story missions left in the game. And uh, beyond that, it's just getting 100% in all locations and 100% in all achievements. That being said... All the games I cover on my channel will be 100% completion, where I not only go 100% in-game statistic, but 100% achievements as well. Uh, if there is one final thing I will say, it is uh, when Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order wraps up, we are going to be streaming Assassin's Creed Unity on the Xbox Series X. If we were to go into our my progress of where I left off on Assassin's Creed Unity, it's no better time than to do it now. Otherwise, I will forget. It's actually been a long time since I played Assassin's Creed Unity. It's always made to look into and uh, find it. Assassin's Creed Unity only gained nine achievements, and those, uh, so, uh, that's something that we will need to work on, but, uh, yeah, the only achievements that I've gotten are really relatively easy achievements, some story-related, some not, but, these are, like, all, all the achievements I get. Didn't even get far in it, just got past sequence four. That being said, uh, that's the next game I'm gonna be covering on my channel when we finish Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you all next time.